Two committee agents came into the hotel bar. One was black, the other white. Whitey was tall, lanky, and wore a wide brim leather hat and a long leather coat like a spaghetti western heavy. The black was shorter, quiet in a running outfit, and moved like he was grooving to some funky Caribbean rhythm. Asshole written all over those stony committee faces. They reminded Jamie the two identically dressed twins who had tried to stop him back in the Tenderloin in San Francisco. They took seats on either side of him. Jamie finished his drink and tried to ease off the stool when Whitey patted him on the back, almost caressing it, then held his hand there firmly. Don't be in a hurry, Jamie boy. Let us buy you another. Isn't that right, Walker? Yeah, motherfucker, let us buy you another drink and poo. Whitey's breath was foul, maybe toxic. Jamie closed his eyes and saw traces of the red light. Jamie stayed with the light until it grew and filled up his head. A gun was there in his hand. Jamie was across the room, and in slow-mo, the two committee boys were going for their guns. Walker mouth, he's hip, he's in a dream. But Jamie fanned off multiple shots that reduced them to headless, bubbling stumps. Walker's hand twitched as though to grasp for the automatic that had fallen just an inch from it. Whitey's gun remained in his waist holster and his pants were wet with urine. The bartender and other patrons had long vanished. 